cold water can hit right after a long day in the sun. Many people have started conversations and relationships over a cold glass of water. Cold emails too can be amazing conversation starters. Getting conversions through an ice cold email can sometimes be a little bit hectic. However, you can build businesses, make land sales, and achieve your goals if you master a cold email. A cold email is sent to a client who doesn't have any existing connection to you. A cold email is just a one-on-one -on -one between the receiver and the sender or a personal conversation between two people. Cold emails usually include your name, contact information, personalized content for the recipient, specific requests and a conversation starter or an icebreaker. Cold emails are usually shared among small businesses or individuals to public figures. These don't always have commercial intentions. To send a cold email, you must ensure that it addresses the recipient directly, must be highly specific and relevant, and must mention a common contact. So, how do you build a cold email template? To have a catchy cold email that will help you earn good conversions, you must commit yourself to several things. Here, we have generated guidelines that explain how you can build a cold email template. Number one, double check the from line of the email message. The from line is that part of the email that shows the names of the mail sender. The from line is an essential as the entire body in the email message since it handles a significant role in showing the recipient who sent the message. The from line is what gets the first impression of the receiver and then the receiver decides whether to open it or not. Being a stranger to people you contact, you need to eliminate suspicion and ensure that you earn the client's trust by crafting a good from line. Therefore, it is advisable to always review the from line before clicking the send button so that you correct mistakes and put things right, just in case there is anything faulty. A mix and match from the from line is another good way of capturing the prospect's attention, especially when you're doing a new email campaign. However, having a similar from line every time you're doing a new campaign may seem so familiar to the prospect and may turn out to be boring in the end. Therefore, a mix and match are highly recommended to avoid such cases. Here are examples of mixing and matching the from line. From Jefferson, from Jefferson Matthews, or from Jefferson Matthews at Mantipesa Limited. These three are different and may not be familiar every time you send out a new marketing campaign to the recipient. This might therefore keep them interested. To get the best of the from line, ensure consistency in your writing, factor in your leads perception, and craft a line that gets into your prospect's expectations. And finally, think of whom your prospects would be the keenest talking to. Number two, craft an enticing subject line. Your subject line is a key to opening your email message. Successful email messages open and read by the intended receivers heavily rely on the subject line. Your subject line acts as a speaker for the entire body of the email message, so you have to make a perfect one. Pay keen attention to the subject line of the message you will send out to the recipients. Writing and testing whether different email subject lines would work for you is very important since it helps you get a line of options to choose from, much as it might be tiresome and time consuming. You must craft a subject line that is exciting and will trigger the receiver to open and read the email message. Otherwise, a poorly written email might bias the recipient before they open it. Ensure that the subject line is short compelling and informative and must speak to the body of the email message. Number three, customize your email message to the recipients. Personalizing email messages is one of the most effective ways to building and writing cold email messages that convert. Research has shown that personalized email messages convert at a much faster rate than random messages. Prospects attach so much value to personalized messages since it makes them feel as though the message is directed to them. This could convince them to open and read the message and understand what it entails. Endeavor to prove to the recipient that contacting them was intentional. Assure them that you aren't a spammer who sends random messages. 
Number four, write a compelling introduction. You know you're almost getting it right when you have a perfect from line and an outstanding subject line. First, however, a good email introduction is critical as the first two aspects discussed earlier. An excellent cold email introduction refers to the recipient's company, achievements, work, and expertise. Remember to keep professional with the words you use, but catchy. The opening is not expected to go beyond two to three sentences. In the introductory sentences, you can ask about some of the challenges a person or a business faces or briefly discuss those you have identified and how you intend to address them. Maximize the introduction and use it to prove to your audience that the message was intentional with research and deliberate decisions were made. This way, you will have a cold email to help you and conversions. Number five, include an offer in your message. Leads need to get enticed to respond. One of the ways you can achieve that is by mentioning an offer in your email message and stating what offer you are precisely making. You can also include a call to action statement that encourages and attracts prospects to take action. Freely share with your prospects how your previous clients benefited from your offers and how happy they were because of your offers. To encourage your audience to take up the offer, you can add relevant numbers and statistics to show your prospects how much you are offering. That will make your request more exciting and people will be attracted to come for it, hence increasing conversions in the long run. Number six, ensure that claims are backed by social proof. There are so many risks in selling and these tend to become hindrances to making conversions. All customers want to work with credible and recognized companies with prior experience in the field. That's why talking and sharing about the background of your previous customers is essential. Communicating with your prospects about the achievements and the actions you delivered to your last customers makes them feel that risks are limited and could get them convinced to work with you. To avail more evidence to your target audience, you can attach a customer case or a referral study detailing what you did for them and how they appreciate your work. You can as well add client reviews of your work and their ratings. This will provide evidence to your prospects that your deliverables are tangible and they will become converted to make orders and make purchases. The more conversions you make, the more profits and revenue you gain. Number seven, write an email copy that feels natural and human to the recipient. While crafting an email to your audiences, ensure that the email has been written in a suitable format with a friendly tone. Much as it might be an official and business email, could you not make it look so severe? Emails that appear too formal sound stiff and make you sound more like a salesperson, yet selling might not even be part of your intentions. Make an effort to use less aggressive words in the subject line and the entire body of your message. The words you choose to use must be in the same line as the buyer's stage in the sales process or journey. And above all, it is advisable to first read through the entire email message before sending it to the recipient so that you can clarify mistakes in case there are any. And also to make sure that the email has a natural tone and flows well with the reader. Number eight, ensure that there is value in your pitch to the prospect. A pitch involves telling a recipient what you want from them or your expectations. If you're to pitch your prospects by the products and the services you offer, ensure that you have spiced up benefits so that a customer gets a clear idea of what they will gain from your business. A catchy pitch is where you write an email with intentions of selling, but you start it to begin a unique business relationship with a customer. This approach seems to be a little bit more personal when you are writing a pitching email to a customer. Endeavor to prove that they will benefit because that's what customers want to see and hear. Put your prospects at the center of your pitch and provide them with much value. For instance, you can discuss ways to address some of the challenges they are facing. Briefly, discuss how the prospect will gain from your business and avoid discussing what your business can offer. Don't sound like you are convincing or coercing them to buy your products or services, but rather show them the benefits. Let the conversation in the message be natural and continue the fast interactions. Now, last but not least is 
polish your email signature. An email signature is an integral part of the email message that one wouldn't ignore. Email signature informs your audience about your location, the company names, and how best they can contact you. This is crucial in building an excellent cold email template. A well thought out and clearly defined email signature shortens the email body, thus making the message more understandable and transparent. To make an excellent and valuable email signature, ensure that the email signature makes you look trustworthy, strictly add what is necessary, don't congest the signature, make a neat and clean HTML. That's all we had for you. Until next time, bye.